I'd like to thank the Lord for the uh, honor and, and the glory for letting me be here tonight. It's always, it's always, uh, it's, it's, it's just a great feeling to be here. And I, as I'm, as I'm preaching, I'm, o I'm opening up the altar for anyone who needs to come up. I, there's never a time when I don't open up the door for someone to come up to the altar if they need to. That's right. Whatever the reason may be. Amen. If if you got your Bibles with me with with y'all, turn to John chapter six. Verse 35. And Jesus said unto them, I am the bread of life. He that cometh to me shall never hunger, and he that believeth on me shall never thirst. Amen. Dearly, Father, Lord, I just ask you, Lord, just to uh, help me, Lord. I just pray, Lord, that you'll just uh, help me ju just to preach your word. I just pray, Lord, that you'll just anoint my tongue, give me the words you would have me to say, and just fill this church full of the Holy Spirit. And I just pray, Lord, that you'll just take me out of it. And I just pray, Lord, that you'll just help me to say what you would have me to say, dear Lord. Help me to preach like I've never preached before. I just pray, Lord, that you'll just... Uh, if there's anybody in, in here tonight that need, needs to hear what, what needs to be said, I just pray, Lord, that you'll just help them, Lord. Yeah. For in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 I'm the bread of life means uh, means that br the bread that gives life that this life that Jesus is speaking about is sp is spiritual and eternal eternal whenever we got God brought us into this world. He breathed, He breathed life into us, right. but that but that life is just is just temporary here on earth. Yeah. But whenever we go to that wonderful place called heaven, yeah. whenever we get that second life, Blessing then God. that will that will mean that we will have eternal life it will be forever and I'm looking forward to that Amen. I am too with it. bless him Lord alright uh, John, John 8 12 John 8 12 then spake Jesus again unto them saying I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in in darkness, but shall have the light of life. That's right. We need to try to be a light for Jesus each and every day. Amen. We we need to go out there, be a light for Pete. Be, we need we when we go out, we we need to people need to see the light of God in us. That's right. They need to see God in us at all times. We need to bear the fruit of a Christian. Yes, sir. At all times, whether we need to go out, what, just anywhere, whether we're at work or just anywhere, yeah. if God puts that opportunity in your heart to go witness to someone yeah. you need to take it because if you don't take that opportunity yeah. then that blood's going to be on your hands Amen. Amen. and there's been there's been so many times that I'm, 
that I did I didn't take the opportunity because I was relying on me. I I was just thinking about me and and I'm gonna be held accountable for that. So it, it is so important that we do what God would have us to do. Alright, turn 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 to ten John ten seven. Then said, then said Jesus unto them again, Verily, verily, I say unto you, I am the door of the sheep. Jesus, Jesus is the doorway into the kingdom of God. That's right. As long as, long as we are saved by the grace of God, and as long as we stay with God at all times, and do what he would have us to do. God, God has the key, keys to the gate. All we have to do is serve him. All we have to do is ask the Lord into our heart. Bless him, Lord. Ask the Lord to be our, the, be our Savior. And he will unlock that gate for us so we can go into, into heaven. And I, I just like to thank the Lord for saving me. Amen. I'm going to get to go to that great place Amen. called heaven. I'm going to be able to, to sing and shout the victory. I have victory in Jesus. What a good feeling. Jesus. 1014 I am the good shepherd and know my sheep and I am known of mine yeah, that's right. Jesus knows his sheep which is yeah. us we are his sheep right. we that's are his, we are his followers <laughs> and Jesus Jesus laid his life down for us so he didn't have to go to that dreadful place called hell. That whenever they took him up on Calvary, they they didn't have to force him to let to on that cross. He willfully laid down on that cross, opened out his arms, and let them put those nails in his hands and feet. And he shed that blood. Yes, amen. I believe there there was a drop of blood for each and every one of us. It dripped down on us. But are, are you willing to take it? Are you willing to take take that blood and apply it to your everyday life? And. That's that's the that's the million dollar question right there. Are you willing to lay down all all the th other things, all all the simple things? Are you willing to clear all that junk out, out of your heart and put in the good things that God has in store for us? I'm looking forward to the wonderful things that God has in store for me. And I hope you are too. Eleven twenty-five. Jesus said unto her, "I'm the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, through he were dead, yet shall." He lived. Right. Jesus, we're, we're gonna have we we're gonna have a second life. We we whenever we die, 
that's not going to be the end of us. That's right. Yeah. That's right. We got, we're we're going to be alive again. We're going to have a second life right. whenever we go to heaven. For the people that are truly born again Christians that got that got saved by the grace of God. We're going to have life up there in heaven. But there's people that sadly there's going to be people whenever God, whenever Jesus comes back they're going to they're going to go to that dreadful place called hell. And I, I don't, I don't like the feeling of pe- people going to hell, especially because it was because of me. Turn, all right, turn with me to fourteen six. Jesus saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Amen. Jesus is the the only way into heaven. Amen. The only way that we can get to God is by Jesus Christ. Amen. That's him, brother. This right here is the truth and nothing but the truth. Amen. Right here. Amen. That's right. We need we need to apply everything we read and study into our everyday life. Yes. We need to ask God to help us to we need to ask him we need to ask God to give us knowledge yes. each and every day yes. that that way we can understand his word. That's right. God, God's word is so so understandable even a small child can read it right. and understand it. But there, there's people out there that ain't willing to read it. I'm happy that I have the want to read God's word. I, I'm happy that I have the want to study his word. I I'm happy that I had the want to preach his word. It's a good feeling to know that I'm walking with God right now. I couldn't I couldn't do anything without God. I just, with with God all things are possible. That's right. But without God nothing would be possible. We we would <clears throat> without God we wouldn't be here today. Amen. Amen. We'd be out we'd be out there do, doing bad th- just bad things, Bless you, and Lord. we we'd be wanting to do whatever we wanted to do. But even though God's out there, there's still people that's wanting to do what they want to do they they want they won't go they don't want to they don't want god in their life that they they'd rather drink in a bar or that they'd rather just go go drunk and and i have family members that drink and bless him lord I just pray that the Lord would yes. burden their heart, and yes. I just pray that God would just uh, help them to realize what they're doing is wrong. Yes. And I, I just pray that the Lord puts that opportunity for me to go talk to them. I just pray that I'll take that opportunity, and if some, if God. Gives other people opportunity. I just pray that they'll take it. <laughs> Turn to fifteen one. I 
I am the true vine, and my father is the husbandman. Je Jesus is the source uh, of the spiritual nourishment for, for anyone connected through him. We need to have we have we need to have the faith that God will provide us with what we need. If we will have the faith, then He will be able to feed. We, he will be able to feed us our nourishment, our spiritual nourishment, which is God's word. I hope you got something out of it tonight. The Lord's telling me to stop right there. That's good, brother. That's good. I'm, I'm going to turn it back over to Rocky. Amen.